Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I'm very excited because in today's video, I'm gonna be doing my first glove review. That's right. So I just got these gloves in from a company called Sullivan Gloves, who I hadn't heard of until fairly recently. It was kind of weird in, a, in the way that I found out about Sullivan Gloves because I noticed them popping up on my Instagram feed and I noticed a few of my friends talking about them all at the same time. And so I just got these in. So these are what's called the Buffalo Roper. So let me, uh, let me read a little bit about these gloves. Okay, so this is a heavy duty four to five ounce American Buffalo leather. Buffalo has a very textured grain that takes several uses to break in, but it is worth the time for a hard wearing glove. Buffalo leather offers our highest abrasion resistance glove and forms to your hand as you break it in with limited stretch. A fantastic all around work and chore glove. All purchases are cut and hand sewn to order. Please allow one week for product to ship. All leathers come from natural hides which may contain scarring, giving each pair its own character. For sizing, you measure your palm. If you don't have a soft tape measure, use a string. Mark it, lay it flat, and measure it. This will give you your general size. If you like more or less room, you could go up or, da up or down from there. See illustration by going to the top of the website and selecting about sizing. Buffalo has very little stretch. Consider staying right at your measurement or sizing up to make it a roomier glove. So yeah, it's four to five ounce American Buffalo, drum dyed in the United States, handmade in Bend, Oregon. Elastic shearing at waist, keeps warmth in and debris out. Unlined for spring and summer work. Suggested uses are heavy work, barbed wire fencing, etc. Motorcycle riding, rugged fashion. All right, so having gotten into leather work recently, I always have useful tools hanging around. So these gloves here, the Buffalo Ropers, I ordered in a size medium. And I arrived at that conclusion by taking this measuring tape. And so it looks like I'm about eight and a half inches based on this. And it says for eight inches, do a small, for nine inches, do a medium. So I went with medium because they recommend sizing a little roomier in the Roper jumpers. And I'm glad that I did. I'm square between a small and a medium. So yeah, definitely go off their sizing guide, which they give on the website. And being that I'm square between a small and a large, the medium, yeah, it's, it's a little roomy, as you can see when it's on my hand, but uh, going small might have been, been just too small. Now, I've had gloves that were really small, and actually, I wanted to bring this up. But yeah, I went for unlined as well, just because I want to be able to use this uh, year-round if need be. Now, one thing that I think is really cool about these gloves is kind of when you... Uh, when you, when you make fists with them, it, they kind of look like those old timey boxing gloves. Kind of with this like aperture here. I don't know. I think it just, they just have that really cool, like I think these would go really cool with like a bomber jacket. Like I could see the Red Baron wearing these gloves. Like these are, these are definitely manly enough for Red Baron gloves. Now if you've been following my channel for a long, a long time now, you know that I'm all about the boots. I got my start with boots. My boot obsession progressed into other leather accessories such as belts, uh, watch straps, uh, leather jackets, and other things, and eventually into leather making, leather bags and things. But leather gloves have always been difficult for me to nail down. I've had some leather gloves before. Some of the mall bought stuff is really, really terrible junk. And I don't say that lightly, like you wear through that leather like that. <laughs> Decent leather gloves that I have right here. So these are some J. Crew gloves that I got. And these are supposed to be like smartphone friendly. These are kind of a dressier glove, a classier glove. I believe these are deer skin. They're very thin. And I actually bought these in a, they had a size medium and large. And I went with the large and my hands barely fit. Like, like I've had these for probably seven years now. And, uh, they're definitely not looking better with age, I wouldn't say. They're very, it's a very delicate leather. It's almost something that you'd expect like a, a, a fine Italian leather wallet to be made out of. Designed more for its uh, smoothness than anything else, just to be smooth and sort of delicate feeling, which isn't 
always my style. Now these have been good gloves. They really, if the wind's whipping and it's below freezing outside, then I'm glad to have these. But yeah, my, my hands never really quite fit in them. I feel like my wife wears these and her hands fit these perfectly. In a size large, it's kind of I find it kind of strange because I do not have big hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the fact that they kind of crush my hands is, is kind of strange. And then on the inside, I do see some sort of delaminating of the leather, some sort of some drying out. And uh, this is like a nice mahogany cognac color. And uh, I don't know, they're just really thin and they are lined. I think they're cashmere lined, so they they feel nice and luxurious on the inside. But are they the best leather gloves? No, are they, well, they're fine, they're luxury gloves, but they're definitely not hard wearing, that's for sure, definitely not. I think I've used them a few times to shovel the driveway. Yeah, and it's got like just some kind of weird unsightly wear happening there. Definitely, in terms of like a work glove, not, not what you want, for sure. And then these, these are decent. I also got these from J. Crew on sale years ago. These are definitely more of a work glove and they definitely fit me really well. And they have a nice lining on the inside, like a nice, I don't know, I assume that's like a fur lining. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I feel it's definitely not real fur. But uh, even these, like these, these were kind of sold as work gloves and they're fine, they're good. Uh, but I could tell like as I use them to shovel the snow outside, they're starting to wear through as well. Like these are not built to hold up over the long term for sure. Um, and these these were at full price, I think were like $150. Same with, same with these deerskin ones, easily full price $150. So I got them on sale again for like 40 bucks a pair, I think, which is good. But these, these are like a whole new level. And these full price are only, yeah, so full price unlined, these are 75 bucks. And what's nice about that is you're actually getting $75 worth of a glove. You're not getting like a glove with an artificially high price and then you get it on sale. So you feel like you're getting a deal. Like I don't mean to disparage my J. Crew gloves too much because they're, they're all right. But these are the real deal. Like I've worn these probably like three, four times. They're really good for when it's freezing outside and you need to touch your steering wheel and, and drive to work. These are really good driving gloves, really uh, keep your hands warm, uh, not having to touch freezing cold things. I've used them to like de-ice my car, to clear off my windshield wipers when I'm, when I'm using the, the uh, windshield scraper. I, I have not used these to shovel my driveway yet, but I can tell already like this is a really thick leather. Unlike this, this is, this is probably one ounce leather, very thin stuff, uh, thin enough to be a boot lining. And then this stuff is probably this is probably two and a half ounces, this leather, on these J. Crew work gloves. But these are these, these are a four to five ounce. And it's just leather, genuine leather all the way through, American made, genuine leather. Very tough. I could tell, like, are they fully broken in? No. Will they be fully broken in by the end of the winter? Yes. I do I expect that they'll be fully broken in. And these are just phenomenal. Like I said, on the description here, it says that you could use these as work gloves. You could use these for barbed wire. Now think about that. <laughs> That's a serious glove to be used on barbed wire. <laughs> so but yeah, they're very comfortable and, and I just, I feel good. I feel good in these. I feel, I feel like I could, I could work in these all day and, and they would be just a joy to use. They're very enjoyable to have on my hands. Very ergonomic feeling, nice, warm. The leather is very tight grain, very high quality leather. I'm not sure the tannery. I heard that they do use leather from law tanning. So Sullivan Glove Company is one of the last US glove makers. We hold true to our original commitment of enduring craftsmanship. We source American grade A hides in deer, elk, buffalo, goat, sheep, pig, and cow. The leathers are cut using decades old form fitting patterns that give each pair minimal seams for more comfort and less points of failure. Every pair is hand sewn in Bend, Oregon. The history is in 1941, Edward Sullivan began making gloves for shipbuilder for shipbuilders during wartime. When the war was over, he relocated the company to Bend, Oregon because of the availability of deer hides. Originally the company served as a hide house that would take in hides from local hunters to be tanned and made into gloves. The company has always remained family owned and operated with each generation of ownership, working hard to preserve the tradition of American glove making. 
All right, so yeah, Sullivan Glove, they've got their classics. They've got 80th Anniversary Heritage Classics. They've got, yes, okay, so here's their classics, Sullivan's Classics. They've got Deerskin Shorties. They've got Deerskin Ropers in different colors, tan or natural, brown. They've got Deerskin Slippers. They've got Lined Ropers, Elk Shorties. That elk is a really nice blue color. Buffalo Shorties, Boot Hunter Cabin Slippers. Mittens for kids, those are really cool. Oh, they that's cool, they sell uh, Smith's Leather Balm. Oh, they also have touchscreen fingertips that you could add to any glove for 20 bucks. They've got a Gator Shorty, that's pretty cool looking. I know some of my friends are into Gator. I'm, par I'm not partial to uh, reptile skin, but I have a lot of friends that are. Navy Blue Deer Skin, that's really nice. They've got a whole line of motorcycle gloves. Okay, so some of their gloves fall into both categories. Goat roper, elk roper, roper. It looks like you can get any model lined as well. Goat roper, deerskin ropers, deerskin gauntlets. Oh, the gauntlets are really cool, wow. The gauntlet, that's a man's glove right there. And then they've got work gloves. Yeah, a lot of these same ones fall under the same categories. Uglies, clearance, three pack, those don't look very ugly. Chore gloves. They've got western ropers. Shooting gloves, that's cool. Then they have the rodeo and ranch lines. Yeah, rodeo and ranch, hardworking, durable rodeo and ranch gloves. A lot of good looking stuff on their site. And yeah, so these are mine, the buffalo ropers. I just wanted a medium brown, kind of a shortish glove, not too short, and I'm really happy with my choice on these. They offer the buffalo ropers in both uh, black and brown. So yeah, in closing, I'll probably do an update video as time goes on, maybe a few years in, but I just wanted to kind of get this initial one out, talk about, give my thoughts. These are definitely the best gloves I've ever had, and it it is the season. We have a very cold winter happening right now. And uh, if you're into boots, if you're into nice menswear, nice heritage items that pay homage to the way things were made in the olden times, like I am, like boots, like jackets, gloves are no exception to that. I am really happy with these. And if you want the glove that's going to match your Red Wings, your Vibergs, your Alvins, your Truman boots, um, your thorough good boots, all those really nice, well handmade boots made in America, then you need these gloves because these will pay homage to the boots and the belts that we love. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV, and stay tuned because I got a lot more videos coming up.